I've talked about this many times before, but I'm always interested in the degree to which the right-wing media, namely here in Australia, which is Sky News, <coughs> want to paint Biden as being um, slow, uh, dithering, uh, incompetent, and so on. Now, <coughs> I'm not here to debate whether an 80-year-old bloke should be president or not. Um, I think that what Biden does in terms of uh, American politics is far outweighs anything that Trump and many of the, his predecessors had done, including Obama, in terms of uh, being able to meet the needs of the American people. But Sky News tend to want to focus continually on one specific issue. I just raised an issue uh, in a previous post in relation to Albanese and how they want to focus on how many... Uh, how many interviews he does or how many, no, how many um, photo opportunities he looks for, you know, and this lack of productivity that seems to be emanating from Sky News commentary. And, and here we have uh, Rita Panahi, who's, uh, I think, just the most revolting interviewer or revolting commentator you could probably get. Um, and she <clears throat> wants to highlight the fact that uh, the press secretary in uh, the United States has chosen to, what well, she says, lie about the number of times that Biden is questioned by the media. Now, we need to be aware of the fact that in the United States, they do have a press secretary, they do have press meetings whereby the press secretary talks about the issues and responds uh, in, accordingly in relation to how she thinks the, um, the administration wants those questions to be answered. We don't have that here in Australia. The Prime Minister confronts uh, when they're giving a speech or when they're introducing something. They're often asked questions at the end of that. That doesn't happen in the US, completely different system. And when Trump was in power, um, you know, they should have done their best to keep that man away from the cameras because every time he opened his mouth, he stuck his foot in it. Um, and, and Biden has uses his press secretary in order to answer those questions. So I'm just going to play a clip from uh, that they've come up with uh, in relation to the press secretary responding to the number of questions that Biden is being asked and how often. And... Uh, Let's hear what they have to say on the other side. To the White House press secretary, Corinne Jean-Pierre, with another bold-faced lie. So I'll say this. It is also unprecedented that a president takes as many shouted questions as this president has. And he no, has. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll, we'll, get, we'll, we'll, certainly, we'll certainly get the data and share that with all of you. Now, Even the very pro-Democrat White House press. Now, firstly, firstly that is not necessarily pro-Democratic White House press. Uh, Sky News, AON and others are there and they're, they're selected uh, as to who will be there and they try to give as broad a uh, representation as is possible. So, um, but they're determined, Rita is determined that we think of Biden in these negative, um, with this negative view because he doesn't tend to appear as often as they would like. However, this isn't the point. The point is whether the message is getting across. It's not actually relevant whether Biden is actually delivering it himself or not and whether he's asking questions directly. It's whether the issues are being discussed, which they are during these press conferences. And it appears that uh, perhaps the media are a bit discouraged by the amount of times that it does turn up. What that data looks like, I don't know. Um, it hasn't been presented to us. But nevertheless, uh, this is the complaint that uh, that Rita and her cohorts uh, have. Corp objected to that because that is just a lie that is uh, too much even for them to suggest that no other president has taken as many questions that are shouted at him. 
they have controlled his media access so diligently that uh, that's why we get these clips where someone does get to him and ask him a question and, and he completely uh, is incoherent, he doesn't know what he's saying, he uh, gives a completely nonsensical answer and, and then to suggest that no, no. I like the way that she says that, they, uh, they, that he gives nonsensical answers. She doesn't... She, so she could present us with an example of that, but uh, she doesn't because... Obviously, there aren't all that many clips that would validate that. Um, and, you know, maybe Biden isn't doing as many of those interviews as he can. He does often a walk past when he's leaving the White House and he often says things to the media on those occasions, which is kind of part of the tradition in the US. Um, <clears throat> but she, she doesn't pull out an example in relation to this. This, this is just another example of whereby... Uh, Sky News must have a ch have a go at the left wing whenever they can. So they can't present information that is factual. It all has to be with these after dark people presenting a dark image of uh, that conflicts with their side of politics. And we need to be wary of the fact that they are presenting uh, an, an aspect which is non factual. Uh, often it's not true, and uh, but is selling us a myth about the other side of politics. And my concern is that we're heading further and further towards the Americanisation of our political system through people like Sky News and the Murdoch Press in general. And we need to be wary of it, because if it turns out like it has in the United States with issues around trans books that are being read by our children uh, and a whole host of other bizarre issues, abortion being one of them, if these become part of the Australian system, that these are part of the way we're dealing with the issues here in Australia in similar ways to the way they deal with it in the US, we're in trouble. So we need to make sure that we're not heading down the same path and that people like Rita, Paul Murray... Andrew Bolt and others are trying to sell us a bag of goods which really is about breeding fear and discontent. And uh, that in itself is a path we should not be going down. If you wish to uh, ask me any questions about any of this, please send me uh, any questions that you might have to this email address. And of course, uh, we'd, I'd like to think that you could subscribe to my channel for any further notifications. Thanks, everybody, for being with me. Take care, look after yourselves, and be safe.